Hi, I'm Jer. I'm a program leader here at BNU in one of our range of music production courses. This is the Electronic Music Studio, which is my favorite space in the entire university. Uh, so I just want to show you around some of the equipment that we have here. So for anyone who's into sound design or electronic music production in general, it's really good to know the fundamental makeup of how sound works. And this type of equipment really allows a student to do that. It's really to develop their sense of the building blocks of sonic material. So the whole studio is basically run from this Avid S1, which is the main control surface we have here. This is the pared down version of the control surfaces we have on our larger studios. And then the hub of the operation is uh, everything is running through this Apollo, the Universal Audio Apollo 8. Then over here, what we've got is a MIDI controller keyboard. This is a fully weighted 88 key uh, piano, basically. It feels like a real piano. Then for any of our Ableton Live users, we have the Ableton Push 2. So this is a really beautiful control surface for um, playing or sequencing within Ableton itself. So this one is really great. We've tried to set this uh, studio up um, like a sort of working facility for someone who's a composer who might be composing music for film, TV and games. We tried to create like a real world scenario wherein if someone's really interested in collaborating with uh, people from different industries, this is the type of studio that they could work uh, together in. Uh, and then over in this side of the room, we have a range of different synthesizers. Um, here we have two uh, amazing synthesizers, which are your general keyboard-based synthesizers. Um, you've likely seen these in a range of studios uh, all over the world. They're ubiquitous and you've definitely heard them in some records that have been released over the last number of years. And all of the equipment we have here, it, it's all industry standard. We spec it out quite particularly because these are types of instruments and sound generators that you'll find in a bunch of different types of production houses and studios. So it really does help set students up with these skill sets that they can bring to the industry. Uh, the one below it here is the Sequential Profit Rev 2, which is my favorite synthesizer of all time. I actually have one of these in my home studio. Um, it's a standard keyboard-based subtractive synth, but you can create a wide variety of different sounds. It's, it's a really fun uh, instrument to use, actually. Uh, so this, this is the type of studio space that uh, students may have started a project in one of our other spaces, but then they end up coming in here to finish the mix or to add uh, extra instrumentation. Um, and it's really, um, for, for those students who are doing creative practice-based dissertations, this is a very popular room in which to complete some of that work. Then over here, We've got our modular and semi-modular synthesizers. And this is where we can get really creative and experimental with the sounds that we're creating. So this three-tiered system is our Moog uh, synthesizer. This is semi-modular. Uh, and each of these tiers creates a different tone, a different sound. This you will likely hear uh, in, in future years in lots of soundtracks and records. Uh, this is quite a new piece of equipment. Then over here, we've got a fully modular system, and this is the Analog Solutions of Vostok 2020. Uh, this is where it gets truly experimental. This is one of those uh, plug and see uh, type of instruments because it's quite a difficult instrument to use, but that's the beauty of it. It's, it's all about experimenting, trying to find your way around the sound creation. So it's all about exploring these sonic territories. These work on their own as self-contained systems, but if you want to plug in a keyboard, there's also this Arturia Keystep Pro, which is a really useful keyboard-based um, controller. Um, and this can control all of these different pieces of equipment. So like all of the other audio studios in BNU, there's quite a robust online booking system. Uh, the good thing about this particular space is this is not a teaching studio, so it's quite free for pretty much most of the day and all through the weekends. So this is the type of studio space that uh, is readily available to students.